Okay, one, one thing I commonly come across that is oftentimes overlooked in the general medical field is candida overgrowths. The problem with yeast, and, and yeast is, is fungus mold, and it's, it's a plant, um, yeast lives on sugar. So yeast lives in dark, moist places in our body. So when we have yeast, um, it uh, turns the sugar into alcohol. Now, every one of our 100 trillion cells have a double layer of lipids or fats. So the, every cell is coated with fat, and that's what keeps your cells from leaking. The proteins in your cells are more like canvas or burlap, and it's that lipid layer on the outside that keeps the, the fluids from, from moving from one cell to the other. So our cells are, that's our, what leak proofs us. The problem is, is that when you have candida, alcohol, just like when you get rubbing alcohol on your skin, it dissolves that protective membrane. So when you have yeast, just drip, drip, dripping alcohol, when somebody has a yeast infection or, or athlete's foot or you give a baby an antibiotics two days later, they got thrush and they got a diaper rash, that's, that's yeast, that's fungus. Um, and it just burns through the tissue. It just keeps inflammation. And one of the com two of the common places it's found is in your intestines and in your sinuses. According to the Mayo Clinic, 96% of chronic sinusitis is fungus. It's yeast. So don't give an antibiotic because that's not the problem. So getting to the cause is my focus. G getting rid of simple problems and balancing them out. Then let's see what the body does. Then the body can start to heal itself.